Alright, I'm back. How are you? Okay, hope you have had a good day. And thank you for coming back again. I'm going to discuss with you now pressure law. Now this is one of the three gas laws, very important in physics. And this is actually very simple. But just like in a game of football, you must abide by the rules. Once you understand the rules, the game is a beautiful game. And then you will understand it, you will appreciate it. Just a quick reminder again. It is a pleasure to study physics. Don't tell me it is a pleasure to study physics. Alright? So it is great pleasure to teach you pressure law this afternoon. Good. Again, remind ourselves, output learning is most important. We have to do our rehearsals. We have to answer past year questions. So again, I've chosen another past year question. 2006. The air pressure in a car tire is 200 kilopascal at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. What is the air pressure in the tire at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius? Assume that the volume of the air in the tire is constant. Sorry about the typing error there. It's a constant. All right, now. Let us now take a look. This is the question. Alright? So I'm going to work it out with you step by step. Ha! Ah, remember in my first lesson? What did I emphasize on? Look at this. Look at this. What did I emphasize on? PV over T equals to constant. Can anybody in the crowd tell me? What is T? You have written it many times. And if you say temperature, then it is very wrong. I'm sorry to say. It has to be absolute temperature. So, first thing that you should do is write down the word absolute. So that you will not forget. So, PV over absolute temperature is equal to a constant. Alright? So what I'm going to do now is this. Let us write down step by step in this question, just as in any calculation question. What is most important is, write down all the values that have been given. Alright? So first and foremost, what is given? 200 kilopascal, air pressure. So this is the first pressure. We write down P. 1 equals to 200 kilo pascal. What is the temperature? This is the first temperature which is 25 degrees Celsius but T is absolute temperature. Straight away get into the habit of adding 273. I want to use a different color so that you can see straight away the emphasis. So with this, you will write down all together. What do we have? We have 298 Kelvin. That is first pressure P1 and the first absolute temperature 298 Kelvin. Get into the habit of even speaking it out. Absolute temperature. Speak it out to yourself and to your friends. So what else is there? What is the air pressure in the tyre? In other words, we want to calculate what is the second pressure. Put a question mark. At a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. So, the second absolute temperature is 37 plus, again use a different colour, Alright, and this is in Kelvin. So what is 37 plus 273? It is 310 units in Kelvin. So look at the formula again. PV over T equals to constant. In other words, P1 over T1 is a constant.
and this constant is also equals to P2 over T2. P2 over T2 is also a constant. So I will equate both sides. So P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. So from here, I will do my calculations. All right, I will put in the values now. I will write it down. Therefore, P1 over T1 equals to P2 over T2. All right, and what is P1? 200 kilopascal. I will just write it this side so we can see it on the screen. P1 is 200 kilopascal divided by T1 is 298. Write down the units equals to P2. P2 is P2 divided by T2. And what is T2? 310 Kelvin. So from here, what is the value of P2? So P2 will give me 200 kilopascal multiplied by 310K cross multiply divided by 298 Kelvin. So after you work it out, then you will get the answer. And look at the question again. Look at the question. They give us five answers. And once you have calculated it, what is the answer that you obtain? It is very close to 208 kilopascal. So the rough value is about 208 kilopascal. Now isn't that simple? It's actually very easy. But, Dari Perlis sampai lah ke Sabah. What happens? Most students from Perlis to Sabah, they make the mistake, they didn't change this to Kelvin. They leave it in degree Celsius and they get a different answer. And it's wrong. So always remember absolute temperature. Remind your friends, tell your friends every day in school. Absolute temperature, then you would not go wrong. In fact, in this question, there, is no, there isn't any trick in it. The only thing is that students forget that we need to change this 37 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius to absolute temperature. But once you follow the guidelines, use the formula correctly, you will be alright. Okay, so it is indeed a pleasure to study pressure law. So with that, I would like to say thank you very much and may God bless you once again. Bye.